Whoa, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on spaceship Earth. Poking around for a little syrup this morning. Seems to be gone. So, um, I've been thinking a lot about these buildings, the old buildings and the new buildings. So I was, I went to, uh, happened to be in a random church last night, a modern church. And I was doing what, what any carpenter does. I was, I was looking at the building and how it was built and I was like, man, this thing's kind of hoopty. And then I, I got to get my thing reset up here. It is not a good setup. And so I was like, ah, oh, this thing's built pretty hoopty. And then I was thinking about, then it made me start thinking about the old churches, the churches from hundreds of years ago, those ornate stone structures supposedly built with you know primitive tools chisels and water levels and and uh, you know plumb bobs and stuff you ever tried to use a plumb bob dude yeah yeah okay and so I'm thinking about these old buildings and I'm looking at this modern building right like the whole thing with the old churches they were built in the glory of God to, you know to represent God's glory and and all this kind of stuff and so here I am in this modern church and I'm like the old churches were representing God's glory what is this church representing because I mean it's nice and all but it's it's hoopty on a on a from a real honest builder's perspective you know it, it keeps the water out and you know the pews are in there and but I'm looking at the woodwork and I'm like there's nothing impressive about it using glue lamb beams and stuff and you know just how they're all joined together with you know hardware and bolts and stuff and I'm thinking about how they used to make those crazy flying buttresses and crazy stonework and you know it's all just still up hundreds and hundreds of years later man and I'm look, I'm sitting in this church and I go this thing wouldn't last a hundred years man without full upkeep and, and constant maintenance and you know God forbid some humidity get in there or some funky weather you know if there isn't someone there to keep the uh, people don't understand like like modern buildings need someone to regulate like the temperature and the airflow or they'll rot you know wood is not the not the not the most longevity product to be building structures out of so I'm thinking about this right and I also was at a post office the other day like a different post office and it was a busy one and again super hoopty building like but it does what a post office is supposed to do you know a bunch of people there mailing their stuff a bunch of PO boxes you know it's all happening it's all trucks in the back taking the stuff coming and going and I'm thinking about all these old giant intricate buildings they claim are post offices and it just doesn't make any sense to me like the more and more you start thinking about these old buildings and you start thinking about the our modern buildings it just the numbers don't crunch okay so think of it this way we, there's more manpower on the planet now than there was before there's more easily accessible resources on the planet than there were before the distribution network of resources is supposedly easier than it was before so manpower is not an issue resources aren't an issue supposedly we're the most advanced society ever blah 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 so we have all the supposed tools and technology to build anything we want and yet 
there, you're telling me there's not there's not a bunch of like whimsical people that are with deep pockets that are like, man, I'm gonna try to build myself a a modern church in the style of you know the 1300s or whatever they were when they were building these crazy churches in France and stuff I'm not seeing it man I've built like I've said I've built some pretty giant been part of some pretty big builds of some super high end mansions and hoopty hoopty I'm telling you so if you really just do the 30,000 foot perspective and leave the story behind leave the story of the historical narrative behind and just take a look around at the buildings in your life the the lean to concrete structure right the what do they call the ones where they just raise the walls just look at the buildings around you and, and just go this is modern the best we can do and so I was thinking again, I go, what, what is the equivalent of something that's just insanely built that blows my mind? And I go, aircraft carriers, right? Aircraft carriers. There's something. There's just this gnarly floating city with an airport on it and 5,000 people and nuclear reactors and all the stuff that it goes to keep hundreds of airplanes flying around blowing up countries. I'm like, there you go. There's what a bunch of like, we're making those things right now. And then I go, huh, maybe that's the difference, right? Maybe that is how primitive our modern society is that we're, we're instead of us building these ornate buildings. And, I, and I'm on the theory of like, whatever about the, the timeline issue is, is that those buildings aren't, what they claim they are I, I just on that level I, I don't know man were they healing centers were they energy manufacturing nodes I, I just don't see how they were building all those crazy structures with people with no with primitive tools essentially and their peripheral population was living in dirt floored, essentially shacks. I mean, you look at like a medieval village, let's say that built all these crazy castles and stuff. Supposedly all these people were just, you know, dying of the plague and, you know, have to have so many children because they, they the health issues were so bad. And yet, there was this super skilled population of of stone carvers and people that could build these intricate things like let's just say it's this this the monkey perspective of like yeah they're building like wood scaffolding and they're stacking things up and using pulleys and all this stuff I've worked, look, I've worked with a bunch of people before in a job building stuff, man. And you need a depth of, of skill and education throughout the thing. Like we take for granted in our society that like we have like basic math skills for example, you know, like you know, your average, your average person, you know, working on the Golden Gate Bridge probably could read, write, do arithmetic, you know, let's just use the Golden Gate Bridge, you know, at the turn of the last century as, as an example, you know, probably a bunch of just like people you consider now to be just roops and stuff up their building, but their baseline level of knowledge was, was fairly advanced if you buy in to the historical narrative that these people in these villages around these castles were basically completely ignorant of uh, they couldn't read they couldn't write they couldn't do math they were just basically filthy 
rubes. I, 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 it just, it doesn't make any sense. The more and more you look at it and, and think about it, just, it doesn't make any sense when you look around this modern world. When you look around this modern world and you see what a, what a monkey show it is, dude. What an incompetent, they can't even keep the, 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 you know, the lights on in California, right? Like, look at the, 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 look at how flimsy the infrastructure is on our supposed modern society. And then walk that back 500 years, let's say, and just be like, yeah, those dudes were building these just fantastically beyond comprehension, beautiful stone structures into the sky. And that makes a lot of sense. It, it makes zero sense to me. The more, and, and I got it, it's a giant brain twister to be like, what? But I'm telling you, if you go just start looking at how poorly everything lines up in modern buildings, just go look at it and just be like, that's kind of like erect, like primitive erector set type building. Like, just go look at all the stucco. Like, we're in California, lots of stucco. All the stucco's cracked. None of this stuff. Nothing in this state that I live in is going to last without full maintenance more than 100 years, dude. Uh, I, I drive around now with a different set of eyes. You know, look, I'm looking for stuff being like, no, nope, that's not going to last. Nope, that's not going to last without a full team of people roaming around like making sure the thermostats properly adjusted and the uh, the humidity i mean good watch some of these like building shows on youtube and see like what's involved how if your insulation is funky or your wrap around your house lets the moisture barrier in and what it does to wood without full maintenance most of these houses that were built, let's say, in the last 50 years are just standing piles of rot that are just really standing still because, like, there's just, it's, it's duct taped together, dude. And then you look at, look at an old wooden house from, like, you know, those gingerbread houses they used to make back in the day, dude. They weren't using any insulation fiberglass Owens Corning insulation. I, I'm telling you, man, it doesn't make any sense. Old buildings versus moderns. Just look around the modern stuff. It's garbage. I'm telling you, dude, just, just start looking at it with more of a refined eye. Just start looking at the gaps, right? They have those crazy stone structures down and, and all over the planet where you can't even fit a, like a credit card in the crack, like a, a piece of paper in the crack. And then just start looking around all the gaps and everything. Um, oh, that's for swelling. Oh, okay, fine, fine. Yeah, Mr. Modern Building Person. So you're using products that swell and contract because that's going to last forever? Versus these old people with no technology, primitive worker base with lack of knowledge are just building this intricate stuff that 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 survives thousands of years nah nah i'm not it's not sitting with me and it's and it's to the point it's like in the matrix where like there's a splinter in the back of my mind about it i i can't like i'm driving over this like freeway thing right over this little creek right now it's so hoopty yeah, it was built in 1920-something, dude. Things falling apart, man. Just crappy concrete. Oh, but it was exposed to the ocean. Uh, they got that giant castle in France out in the middle of that, like, tidal mud flat where the water comes in. It's been there for half a millennia, dude. It's fine. So... So I, I just I'm not buying it, man. I'm not buying the 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 narrative anymore. It's a giant, and it troubles me because like it's such 
a conundrum, man. It is something so beyond my comprehension. But when you really start digging into the story of how all this stuff was built, and I don't even need to get into the disrupted timeline stuff, like whatever, and the resets and the mud floods and the blah, blah, blah. I'm just telling you, dude, that that something else was going on in order for them to build all these like beautiful, beautiful, ornate, detailed stone structures. Because I'm not even about the pyramids anymore. And the pyramids and all that kind of stuff. That stuff totally just blows my mind. I'm talking more of this like mid-modern stuff. These, these churches from the, uh, you know, the 1500s and the 14-whatever, you know, those old crazy, like the uh, the one that burned down in France. And then you start looking into all, how all this stuff, the big fires and the this and the that. I don't know, man. Just go look at those old buildings from the late 1800s. So they were building, so America's expanding. All right, let's just go, let's go with their story. America's expanding at the seams at the, at the, in the late 1800s, right? So again, pretty primitive group of people, all these cowboys and, and you know, immigrants coming over in covered wagons and whatever. And they're showing up and they're just building these super ornate state houses in the middle of the, the Great Plains and South Dakota and Iowa and Utah and Colorado just, yeah, dude, we just showed up here. We don't have anything, but we've got all this skill and resource to build these insanely intricate and beautiful buildings. Ah, just, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I just don't see the population numbers dedicated to the extraction of it, man. I don't know, dude. The logistics of moving stuff around, when you get into like, I mean, look, I, like I said, I'm going to go back to the thing. It's, I've worked at some pretty big job sites with like, lots and lots and lots of people and the symphony of like all these contractors coming and going and that's in a modern city with everyone in their little internal combustion engine zipping around and phones and GPS and lasers and levels you, you get what I'm saying like and we're building garbage compared to what they were building before but 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 we have the eh, nah nah I'm not I'm not buying it anymore I, I don't I can't really put my finger on it but something ain't right with the just something's not right with the buildings I don't know anyway man links down below support the channel remember man this is a uh, if you've made it this far this is a value for value system so if you value the content and you you're trying to figure shit out yep, stuff out with me too then you know and this is a value you can put it in a paypal that's the best way or you know buy some t-shirts whatever it is but uh it's up to you but if you value it then you value it. And if you don't, you don't. So uh, links down below. All right. Have a good one.